इज द स्क्रीन विजिबल इज द स्क्रीन विजिबल यस मैम ओके सो इन द प्रीवियस ओके इन द प्रीवियस क्लास वी वर वी हैड स्टार्टेड स्टडिंग अबाउट द लूप्स ऑफ व्हिच वी हैव फिनिश्ड द व्हाइल लूप एंड अंटिल लूप व्हाइल लूप एंड अंटिल लूप वर्क इन द सेम मैनर बट व्हाइल लूप कीप्स ऑन एग्जीक्यूटिंग द सेम सेट ऑफ स्टेटमेंट्स अंटिल द कंडीशन इज ट्रू बट द अंटिल लूप कीप्स ऑन एग्जीक्यूटिंग द स्टेटमेंट्स अंटिल द स्टेटमेंट इज फॉल्स अंटिल द दिस इज फॉल्स The, if the condition is false, the until loop keeps on executing. If the condition is true, while statement will work on that philosophy. So this is what we have studied here. So today we will be going to study. Uh, sorry, we have started with the for loop also. For loop is a fixed number of loop where it is going to work on the list which you are going to provide for that uh, loop. So the syntax is given here for variable in list. so this variable will take the value one by one which are present in the list and it will uh, execute all the commands which are present in between the do and done example we have seen here see for file in chap chap 20 chapter 20 21 22 23 so for file first for the first time file will take the value chapter 20 next time file value will be chapter 21 22 23 and so on so whatever the variable is present in this for that variable will take the values of this list this is a list now out of, or, or in this list one by one values will be taken by this file and between do and done so starting with the do here till done whatever is written in the block of code that will be executed so next uh, we were studying about uh, the, the how can we provide this uh, uh, elements uh, of the list the list values can be provided in many ways of that we have seen the first one list of list from the variables so we are having different variables in the unix file system like for example we are having the path variable home variable mail variable so for the first sorry for the first time where will take the Uh, dollar path value whatever path is there no see the path means what it is going to display the path of that current user where he is in the unix file system so now here slash bin slash user slash bin this is the path of this first variable next for the second time what is the value of this home value of this home is slash home slash local slash bin So this is the value of home that will be taken by the where. So like this, one by one, whatever values are present in these list variables, that will be taken by this for variable. This is where V A R where is a loop control variable here. So it is going to change during the time of the loop. So it is called as loop control variable. Do echo where? See echo means it is going to display dollar where. Hey, tell me what do you mean by dollar where? Yes, you can write the answer in the chat box. Where means it is the name of the variable. What does the dollar where means? What do you, what do you mean by dollar where? It indicates the Value of that variable, dollar where will indicates the value of this variable. If I say only where, then it is the name of the variable. If I say dollar where, it indicates the name of this variable. Then done. So it will echo here. Next one, next this is where we can give the uh, Unix variables. Next we can take give the list in the form of a command substitution. So now here what we have seen in this example cat. C list. What does cat uh, display? What does cat display? Cat command. You are having I A on eleventh, okay? But still, you are not uh, answering anything. These all commands have been uh, taught in the first and second module. It's, sorry, first and uh, other half of the second module. Tell me, what does cat command do? cat command will display the contents of the file am i audible students am i audible oh. 
हेलो एम आई ऑडिबल ओके सो नाउ वी कैन सब्सटीट्यूट मीन वी कैन डू द लिस्ट फॉर दिस फॉर लूप इन द फॉर्म ऑफ अ कमांड ऑल्सो वॉट इज दिस कमांड कैट सी लिस्ट सी इफ यू इफ यू आर स्टोरिंग द वैल्यूज विच आर टू बी गिवन टू दिस वेरिएबल इन अ फाइल कॉल्ड एज सी लिस्ट सो इट इज टेलिंग कैट सी लिस्ट कैट विल डिस्प्ले द कंटेंट्स ऑफ अ फाइल इन द सी लिस्ट इफ यू आर डिस्प्लेइंग द एलिमेंट्स नाउ हियर एलिमेंट्स वी हैड नो चैप्टर जेव ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी थ्री If you are storing this all four variables in the file C list, then just ins directly instead of writing all those, you can give the name of the file. Cat C list means it is going to display the name of the contents of the file. Once the contents of the files are displayed, uh, that time uh, all those uh, uh, values will be occupied or taken by this variable file. Next, we have seen we can give the list of uh, elements from the wild cards also. You can give the list from the wild cards also. Now, see here for file in star dot stm star dot html. All those files, the where this variable file will take the all those files which are having the extension dot html and dot htm. So, what it is doing here? don't bother about this whatever is written inside just for now you you understand that uh, this for loop can take the variable values so next we are having the list of the positional parameters so list can be taken from the positional parameters also so from positional parameters how can it take let us see now here is one small example using which here the positional parameters will be uh, taken as the so emp6.sh what it is doing using a for loop with the positional parameters how this for for loop will take the values from the here you are having for pattern in dollar at question mark what do you mean by dollar at what is dollar at we have already seen this first what does dollar at mean dollar at means it will take each uh, uh, parameter which you are giving during the execution as a separate dollar star means what see here dollar star means all the positional parameters will be considered as a single string but dollar at means if you are giving a space in between the two parameters then it is going to take as separate parameters individual parameters will be taken so what what we are doing here for this one uh, it uses shell parameter that is dollar uh, dollar at to represent all the command line arguments so now what we are doing for pattern in dollar at do grep this we are doing okay now let us see the output of this one so we are, i have given here dollar emp6.sh so the uh, name of this program here is emp.6.sh so emp6.sh then here what we are having uh, the these 2 3 4 5 1 2 6 5 jai sharma and 4 3 7 these are all the command line arguments or they are called as the positional parameters now these values should be given as a list to the for loop here so now for loop here see for pattern so this pattern means for the first time it is taking 2 3 4 5 uh, dollar at means what each of them are separated by a uh, uh, space can you see here each of them are separated by a space here in this one each of them are separated by a space so each of them is considered as a single uh, argument or a single parameter here 2 3 4 5 is stored in dollar 1 One two six five dollar two. Jay Sharma is dollar three. See, even though there is a space in between this Jay and Sharma, even though uh, space is there, they have been enclosed between the double quotes. Since they have been enclosed in the double quotes, it is treated as a single argument or a single parameter here. So dollar one will be storing two three four five dollar two dollar three and dollar four. So pattern. So you can see here the pattern here for the first time it takes two, three, four, five. 
second time it takes 1 2 6 5 next jai sharma then 4 3 7 9 so 1 2 3 and 4 four parameters are there so for loop the variable this pattern this pattern will take these four values one at a time what it is doing let us see here grep uh, dollar pattern what does grep do grep is used for pattern matching now dollar pattern so for the first time uh, pattern will be taking the value 2 3 4 5 so pattern dollar pattern means 2 3 4 5 here 2 3 4 5 emp dot lst means you are going to, what does grep command do search the pattern in the given file what is my pattern my pattern is 2 3 4 5 so you are going to search 2 3 4 5 in emp dot lst so now you can you can see a see grep command means directly it will display the uh, whatever match you are going to get that match will be displayed see the first line 2 3 4 5 is present means here we are using a or when you are using a or So when you are using a or here, when you are using a or, here it went, okay. when you are using a or, if the first command fails, then only the second command is executed. But here first command is matching, means what? I am matching the pattern. What is my pattern? For the first time, the pattern value will be 2345. This 2345 is being searched in emp.lst. So after searching in emp.lst, I have got the first result here. So, this is the row which is matching to this pattern that is 2, 3, 4, 5. Next, uh, it will go to the next argument. What is my next argument? 1, 2, 6, 5. So, this 1, 2, 6, 5 is the value of the pattern. Dollar pattern means what? Value of pattern. For the second time, what is the value of pattern? It is 1, 2, 6, 5. So, 1, 2, 6, 5 is searched in this emp.lst. So after searching it is matching here. See 1265 is being displayed. This row is being displayed. It means that um, the first command is successfully executed. So once the first command is successfully executed, the second command will not be executed. So next one now, what is the next? It is Jai Sharma. So Jai Sharma is the third parameter which is taken by the pattern. So pattern will be having for the third time that is Jai Sharma. And that Jai Sharma will be searched in this file emp.lst. So that Jai Sharma is also present. See Jai Sharma is also present. So that row is being displayed. How it is displayed? Because I am using a grep command here. So grep command it will search the pattern. If the pattern is found then automatically it will display. If it is not found then the command will fail. So when the command will fail standard error will be generated which we have seen in the previous uh, videos. So now here you can see next for the last time the value of this pattern the value of this pattern variable here it will be 4379. This 4379 is matched in the emp.lst since it is having no match 4379 is not present means the first command is failing here. When the first command is failing, then only the second command will be executed. What is the second command? Pattern, dollar pattern not found. Pattern, it will be printed as it is here. Pattern will be printed as it is. Then dollar pattern. What is the value of the pattern? For the last time, it is 4379. So 4379 is printed here. Then not found. Not found is also printed. Pattern 4379 not found. This will be printed here. So now why this pattern not found will be for, uh, printed because the first because the first command is failing here. It is not having any match. Since the first command is failing, the second command will be executed. The second command is pattern not found that will be displayed. So like this you can take the list elements from the list of positional parameters. So this 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 6, 5, Jai Sharma and 4, 3, 7, 9. So these are called as the positional parameters. The pattern of the for loop here, the pattern of the for loop is taking the values from these positional parameters. This is what is to be explained under this one. So now another important thing that is using the base name. Base name is a keyword here actually. Base name what it will do? It will extract the base file name from the absolute path. Base name will extract the 
base file name from the absolute path. What do you mean by base file name? Base file name means it is the last file name which is present in the path. Base file name is the last file name which is present in the path here. So it is going to extract when you are using this base name keyword with in your command. When you are going to use this base name command in your uh, sorry base name keyword in your command that time what it will do it will extract the last file which is present in the path. Now see your dollar base name this is my this is the path given here. So I am using a base name keyword. What base name keyword will do? It will extract the uh, last file name. What is my last file name? It is dc2bin.pl. See the output here. It is dc2.bin.pl. Uh, bin so this is the file name here. Means ba base name is going to extract the file name. Last file name of the path here. Now what is the use of this base name then? Suppose you want to replace all when you you are having some four file names. Okay, you are having a four you are having four file names and you want to replace the names of all those file names. That time you are using going to extract the base name. Then you are going to replace them. How it is done? Let us see with an example here. Dollar base name. See this example dollar base name ux second dot txt and txt. So here we are having two, uh, two arguments we are having here. So in the first first arguments tell you to uh, be, uh, the file name will be given here. From this file name what are you going to extract? I am going to remove this uh, second parameter from the base name. So here uh, in the first example here. In the first example here, the complete path is given. From this complete path, the base name that is the last file name will be executed. Suppose if the complete path is not given, if only a file name and some uh, text is given. Okay, if a file name and some text is given here. So like for example here a file name is given. Okay, as the first parameter and also the second parameter is given. It is nothing but the he, uh, it is nothing but the text which you want to remove from the first parameter. So from ux second dot txt, I want to remove txt. So what will be my output? ux second dot will be my output See here. So it is a stripping out. Base name is also stripping out the mentioned uh, mentioned text in the given file. It is going to trip off. It is going to trim off the second parameter from the first parameters so now here dot uh, txt is removed then ux second dot will be remaining so this is the use of the base name here let us see with a small program example so what happens in this program example here is it is going to change the names it is going to change the uh, remove the text dot txt and make all the file as dot doc this program is going to remove dot txt of all the files and make it as a dot doc how does it make see here in the example so for file in star dot txt so here i am going to specify the list of elements to the for loop in the form of a wild card so here we have seen now we can use a wild card. Yes, we are using a wild card here to display the uh, to uh, give the uh, arguments to the for loop. We are going to give the arguments to the for loop here by using the wild cards. Using that same one we are having here for file in dot txt. Okay, do for file in dot txt means you are going to extract all the txt files. And one by one those files will be given to this variable file. Next left name. Left name is a variable here. Automatically we can use the variables here without declaring any variables. So left name is equal to base name. See now here what they are doing. Base name keyword I am using and dollar file txt. What is the dollar file here? Suppose if I am having um, program.txt. 
program 1.txt program 2.txt so i want to make a program dot doc program 1 dot doc and program 2 dot doc means i want to remove txt and make it as a doc file so for the first time program will be dollar 1 and that will be taken dollar 1 is in, in the sense first parameter program 1 will be the first parameter and that will be stored in the file what they are saying here left name is equal to base name I told you program, program 1 and program 2. For the first for the first time, here program will be there. Okay. Program. So, for the first time, program will be present in this dollar file. We are, I told you, we are having three files. One is program, program 1 and program 2. For the first time, the value of the file will be program. Okay, the value of the file will be program and uh, remove txt. See, base name program txt. It is just like this one. Base name program dot txt and here txt. Means I want to remove the txt from now here how it is ux second txt is removed no so ux second dot will be remaining like that here program dot will be remaining because i have taken off the txt there because i have taken off the txt only the program dot will be remaining next line move file what is the value of file with the value of file is what what is the value of file it is the program is it not so program then dollar left name what is stored in left name whatever i have extracted updated value of that uh, file what is updated value it is program dot so you are going to move program dot doc into file so we are going to move the program dot doc into the program okay so program dot txt will be replaced with program dot doc now next time it will be program one so program 1 will be the name program 1 will be the name of the file here then what will be stored in left name program 1 dot will be stay, so stored in the left name then what is dollar file dollar file is the program 1 so from the program 1 dot txt i want to remove dot txt from program 1 dot txt i want to remove txt so if I remove that what will be remaining program 1 dot. So when I am uh, uh, using this move program 1 uh, dot to what will be there here program 1 dot txt and here program 1 dot doc. So program 1 dot doc also will be replaced like this you are going to replace here. Understood all of you what it is doing? Base name is going to extract the file last file or it is going to extract the base file it can be also used for truncating a part of the uh, it is also used for truncating a part of the file here now see here ux second dot txt i am truncating txt here i am removing txt so what is remaining unix sorry ux second dot is remaining so this is how we are going to use the uh, base name for the file extension. Have you understood this one? Please drop a message in the chat box. Have you understood? Next we are going to use uh, see uh, the two types of uh, another commands that is a set and uh, shift. Set command is used to set the positional parameters here. When you are not specifying any parameters but you want to set the dollar one, dollar two, and so on. That time you are going to use this set uh, command here. Now see here, uh, directly we will go to the example here. In this example you can see it is a set 9876-2345 and 6213. So 9876 will become dollar one, this is dollar two, and this is dollar three. The set command allows you to set the parameters of the variables. Set command is used to set the positional parameters to the variables. Uh, example, let us see here. 
okay the, the same example they have taken here so dollar 1 see dollar 1 should be set as 9876 dollar 2 should be set as 2345 and the dollar 3 should be set as 6213 so now in the example there down below you can see echo slash dollar 1 what do you mean by slash dollar 1 when do we use slash dollar 1 what is slash doing there first? Tell me. We have studied something about removing the values, oh sorry, removing the meanings of the special characters. We have studied or not? Removing the, removing the special meaning of the special characters. How do we do that? By two methods. One is escaping. Another method is by using the coating. Now here we are removing the special meaning of this dollar by using this uh, escaping sequence that is a backslash. We are using here backslash for removing the special meaning. Now dollar one will be displayed as it is. Dollar one is dollar one. Dollar two is dollar two. Dollar three is dollar three. So first dollar one will be displayed as it is. Second dollar one means it is going to display the value of this dollar one. What is the value of this dollar one? See, I have set it to nine eight seven six. See here, dollar one is nine eight seven six set what it is doing basically set command is used to set or assign the positional parameters so dollar one will become now 9876 next year dollar two will become 2345 6213 will be assigned to dollar three so this is how we are going to assign using the set what is the next echo command this is just they have given the example okay so in the next command what we are having the dollar argument uh, sorry dollar hash Arguments are in dollar stash. Uh, sorry, dollar star. Dollar hash means what is dollar hash? Dollar hash is going to display the total number of arguments. How many arguments we have given here? Just tell me how many arguments we have given. How many arguments in the set? Set this one. How many arguments we have taken? Set command. Three arguments we have taken. One, two, and three. So dollar hash will tell you total number of arguments. So here three will be displayed. Dollar three may dollar hash means three will be displayed here. The dollar hash arguments are are what is dollar star doing? What does dollar star do? Dollar star will display all the positional parameters as a single string. So all these three parameters will be considered as a single string and they will be displayed. So all these three parameters will be displayed here. So please remember what the what do these dollars mean? Okay, dollar question mark, dollar at, dollar hash. Okay, dollar star. You have to remember all these things. Now see here in the next example what we are going to what we are going to do here is set date here. So whatever date is there, no? What date will be displaying? It will be displaying the current date. Dollar, uh, sorry, uh, it will be displaying the current date here. See, this is the current date here. This is the current date. It will display the day, month, month number, time, and year will be displayed. So this Wednesday will be dollar 1 jan will be dollar 2 8 will be dollar 3 this will be dollar 4 ist will be dollar 5 2003 will be dollar 6 so set means here instead of directly specifying see here you have specified directly the values here you can use the command also for providing the values of these positional parameters so now here date is being displayed next what we are having here echo dollar star dollar star means it will completely display the all the positional parameters as a single string these are the positional parameters here positional parameters means they are command line parameters so these are the positional parameters they will be displayed as a single string here the day uh, today is dollar two dollar three dollar six so what is dollar two see this is wednesday is dollar one dollar 2 is jan so dollar 2 is jan so jan will be displayed next 
we are having dollar 3 dollar 3 is 8 so 8 will be displayed next we are having dollar 6 so dollar 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so this is dollar 6 here so dollar 6 2003 will be displayed as it is so this is how the set command can be used for setting the different uh, positional parameters so different positional parameters even if you are not going to execute any program using those uh, uh, using the command line arguments that time you can use this set variable to display or to you set or to assign the positional parameters next we are using the shift what do you mean by shift is it is going to shift this shift shift command is going to shift the positional parameter by one place okay so it is going to shift left side it is going to shift left side so when we are going to use the shift for the first time so dollar zero will be will be uh, shifted out it will be lost dollar one will become dollar zero dollar two will become dollar one dollar one uh, three will become dollar two left side it will be going on shifting let us take with an example here echo dollar at dollar at remains it is going to display see now here i have taken date no i have taken date so in my positional parameters these are there Wednesday, Jan 8, 9, 40, 35, IST, 2003. So, this is present in the command line argument. Now, what it is doing? It is telling to shift. It is, it is, when it is telling to shift here, see here. When it is telling to shift. It is going to shift left by one place. Uh, now, I have equal dollar $1, dollar $2 and dollar $3. So see dollar one is Wednesday, it is placed here. Dollar two is January, it is placed here. Dollar three is eight, it is placed here. Next shift if I do the first dollar will go to the left side, means it will be lost. Next we are having a dollar two. We are having a dollar two. Dollar two will become dollar one. This dollar two will become dollar one. Dollar three will become dollar two here. So what is my do previously what is my dollar one Wednesday? What is dollar two January? Jan. Dollar three is eight. Okay, when I shift it, Wednesday will go out. Jan eight. Jan will become dollar one. Eight will become dollar two. Next time having dollar three also. So what is three here? This one. This will become dollar three. So that will be this three here. Dollar one, dollar two, dollar three. So initially. Initially, if I say dollar equal dollar one, eight was uh, Wednesday was displayed, Jan and eight was displayed. Now, if I say equal dollar after shifting, if I say dollar one, two and three, so dollar one will be Jan eight, uh, sorry Jan, dollar two will be eight, dollar three will be next, that is zero nine colon forty eight colon forty four. So this will become the dollar one next you can see an example here it is shifting two times shift two times for the first time jan will go out for the second time eight will go out so what will be remaining this will become my dollar one this will become dollar two and this will become dollar that is what is displayed so this is going to shift Okay, we'll stop here. Tomorrow we'll be seeing a program on that shift one.